one. Hey, Tom Nelson here with Raymarine Electronics. One of the great things about having quality chirp sonar on your boat is obviously it's going to let you locate more fish, which is going to allow you to catch more fish. But quality Raymarine sonar is going to do more for you than just that. It's going to help you be more aware to what's going on in and around your boat. Um, specifically on the west coast of the United States and around, we're all required now in deep water fisheries to keep some type of descending device on board our boat. In my case, I use a sequelizer. What the sequelizer does is allows you to attach a fish to it, in our case yellow eye rockfish, and bring that fish down to depth. Yellow eye rockfish are a very long-lived species and it's up to us fishermen to be able to the descend them back to depth because they're unable to swim down to depth by themselves. So I'm going to take you up to southeast Alaska here real quick and we're going to catch one of these yellow eyes, put them down to depth, and watch it all happen on our Raymarine Electronics. Let's talk about how you descend a yellow eye rockfish that's suffering barotrauma. All right, so here we have a yellow eye. You can see his, uh, his swim bladder. A lot of people think that's the fish's stomach. It is not. It's his air bladder. It allows him to stay neutrally buoyant in the water column. Uh, salmon do not have a closed swim, batter, swim bladder. They have a physostomus or open swim bladder so they can burp so they don't suffer this. Let's go hook this thing up to the sequelizer. Send it down and then watch his progress on the on the Raymarine electronics. All right, now we're going to hook the sequelizer to the jaw, the lower jaw of this fish, and then send him down. So here are the jaws. The sequelizer set to 300 feet. We snap it onto his jaws, and the cannon downrigger will take him down to depth. Goodbye, rockfish. Have a nice life. So now let's look at the Raymarine high chirp and see what's see the progress of our little rockfish here. So in the very corner of the screen, we're seeing that downrigger ball descend. So now we're approaching the point on the sounder where it is about to release. So the rockfish has now separated. There's the downrigger ball at depth. I'll hit the up on the cannon downrigger. And you're going to see the downrigger ball come back up and the separation of the rockfish, which is this other descending line, they're going to intersect. And the rockfish is now, the rockfish is now swimming back to the bottom because his air bladder has recompressed due to the tremendous pressure at that depth. So here is the downrigger ball coming up and now there is the rockfish swimming back. So that's how we're able to descend a rockfish, put him back down to depth and release him alive so he can grow up. Maybe we can catch him again another day while he's larger. With Raymarine Electronics, you're able to see more of what's going on underneath your boat. That not only makes you a better fisherman, but it makes you a better steward of the resource being able to watch what's going on underneath your boat. I'm Tom Nelson with the Raymarine Pro Staff and I appreciate you watching this video.